In this WordPress tips and tricks video, we're going to talk a little bit about the link URL setting of WordPress images and address a common problem that many people have with their blog posts. Here we are on a WordPress site, and the problem that we're facing deals with the image here of the 3D glasses. Now, the problem that we have is that when we hover our cursor over the image of the pictures, you can see that we can actually click on it. And when you click on it, it actually takes you to a new page where you can see the image uh, possibly quite a bit larger than it was in your original blog post. And the problem is this, is that we actually would prefer that when you click on the image inside the blog post, that nothing happens, that in fact it's not clickable at all and doesn't take you to this page. Let's go ahead and go back to our original blog post here. And because we're logged into our WordPress site, we can click on the edit post link in the admin bar. And that'll take us directly to our WordPress post. And the way we solve this is actually pretty simple. All you need to do is hover your cursor over the image inside of the edit post area and click on it. And it brings up two icons. We want to click on the first icon, which brings up a pop-up window and allows us to edit the settings of this image once we've already added it to our WordPress post. What we're interested in here is this area called the link URL. And you can see that in the field to the right, we actually have a URL that is in place there. Oftentimes, this area is filled out by default by WordPress, and the purpose of it is to actually show images larger than you have them in your blog posts. Now, this is great if you have a personal blog and you happen to be sharing photographs, and you'd like someone to be able to click on it to see a larger version of that image. In this case, we actually would prefer that you don't be able to click on it because we're really just using the image to illustrate our text. The simple fix for this is to actually just delete the URL that's in here, but the better solution is actually to click on this button here called None, which, when we click on it, accomplishes the same thing. It removes the link URL. And the reason we click on the None button is because WordPress is going to save that preference for us, and so the next time we log in, it won't fill this in automatically for us. The last thing we need to do now is just click on the update button to update this change. And then of course, because we've made a modification to our post, we need to click on the update button once again, which is going to save the entire post. Once we get feedback that we have updated our post, let's go ahead and view it. And now you can see when I scroll down and hover over the image, my cursor remains a pointer, same as it was before, and clicking on it actually does nothing.